Welcome to ADHD Whiskey. My name is Matt. Today we're talking about the best pound for pound bourbons that you can actually find. If you saw the title of this video and have no idea what pound for pound means, pound for pound is usually a ranking in boxing or mixed martial arts where people try to rank fighters and boxers irrespective of their weight class. If the weight of the fighter weren't an issue, which fighter is the best? Which one has the most skills? Pound for pound, which fighter is the best fighter? There's a bunch of ways we can take pound for pound and apply it to bourbon, but the way I wanted to do it was like a little bit different than the original way I wanted to do it. Originally, I thought, what are the best pound for pound bourbons irrespective of proof point? But then I got to thinking a little bit harder and a little bit smarter and I was like, actually, what I would rather do is what are the best pound for pound bourbons you could actually get that would actually stand up to the more allocated and difficult things to find. So going into this pound for pound list, what I was thinking was if you were going to a bottle share and bringing a bottle that were on your shelf, what are the best pound for pound bottles to bring to that bottle share to not be embarrassed. Because let's face it, when you go to a bottle share, there are tons of bottles there that are like, what in the heck is that? Mind blowing, allocated stuff, crazy hard things to find, people out there flexing their gigantic bourbon muscles, and you're just showing up like, oh boy. Hopefully I didn't disappoint anybody. Hopefully these bottles I'm telling you about today are bottles that you could bring to a bottle share and not be embarrassed. Are they all extra super easy to find? No, because availability varies by region. You never know what you can find in Alabama or Scranton, Pennsylvania or Marinette, Wisconsin or Duluth, Minnesota or Gay, Michigan. But the bottles on this list aren't impossible to find Unless, of course, you're the one in the comments below telling me, I can't find that where I live, you idiot. In which case, shut your mouth and go to heck. You son of a bee. Talking to you. Let's start this pound for pound list off with a little bit of whiskey from a company called Barrel. Whew. Barrel is known for their like, weird creations and mixes and blends and stuff. So if you just happen to have a strange barrel product laying around, for example, this one's called the Game Changer. If you got a weird barrel blend, then guess what? You bring it to a bottle share and just pretend like it's the best thing on the planet or it's just unique and you want people to try it. Pound for pound, it's gonna hold its weight. And some people there will say that's great. Weird barrel craft spirits products. It's on the pound for pound list. Next on this best pound for pound bourbon list, let's go ahead and add two bourbons to the mix. It's my 2021 and 2022 bourbons of the year. Bring one of these bottles to a bottle share and nobody will bat an eye. They'll just be like, mmm, that's delicious friggin' bourbon and I'd like to try. If you bring a Sam Houston 15 or a Calumet 16 year, Calumet 16 year, also a big hit, also a big hit. So Sam Houston 15 or Calumet 16, both bangers of bourbons that'll make that bottle share people be putting on a hurtins on the bottle because they're gonna like it a lot. They're sourced Barton products, but they're aged for an extended period of time and they're just great. Another great lower proof bourbon that punches above its weight class and is complex and stylish and will make people do backflips even if they can't even do a vertical leap over three inches is Knob Creek 12 year. Knob Creek 12 year is a glorious product from Jim Beam. It's 100 proof, it's 12 years old, and it does all the things that bourbon drinkers would want a great bourbon to do. It's complex, it's viscous, it's sweet. It does funny tricks in your mouth, like guess what's in this hand? Nothing, fooled ya, you, you son of a bitch. But in this hand, I've got your wallet because you weren't paying attention, you idiot. Knob Creek 12 year, definitely on the pound for pound bourbon list to bring to a bottle share. Another 100 proof bourbon that's on this pound for pound list is a single barrel from Luxro Distilleries. It's 10 years old, minimum, 
and it's a weeded product, it's Rebel friggin' 10 year. Rebel 10 year isn't exactly 10 years old. For example, this one says barrel 33210. This is a 12 year old barrel. This is a 12 year old Rebel 10 year weeded single barrel. Some of these buggers are up to 14 years old. It says 10 years on the label, but guess what? It's earned its tenure and then some more. Some of these are like an old Fitzgerald, like a Heaven Hill old Fitzgerald fancy decanter bottle inside of a different bottle from a different place called Rebel 10. And if you don't believe me, then great, more for me. If you can get your hands on a Rebel 10 year, then this is definitely a bourbon that belongs on the pound for pound list as far as bourbons that are sweet, complex, delectable, if that's a word, and something that actually could knock out something much higher proof right in the face. Rebel 10 year, friggin' delicious and shareable. Shareable and careable. Moving forward, let's talk more single barrels. Some single barrels people get extra interested in. Other single barrels people could care less about. But if you went to a bottle share and brought a single barrel of this, Russell's Reserve single barrel, some people will go nuts for this stuff. The Russell's Reserve single barrels that I own are between like nine and 11 years old. They come from different rick houses on the wild turkey property and people go crazy for them. People are absolutely bonkers about a Russell's Reserve private barrel selection. No matter what bottle share you go to and no matter what's on the table at that bottle share, guaranteed that the Russell single barrel will get hit up at least a few times because there are a lot of turkey fans out there. Pound for pound, this baby puts up a fight. Got a couple more to show you. Jack Daniels gets a lot of flack in the whiskey community for like being Jack Daniels, but some of their products don't get flack at all because guess what? When Jack Daniels wants to do it right, they do it right real good. So Jack Daniels barrel strength Tennessee whiskey like this bugger. Jack Daniels barrel strength Tennessee whiskey is just a glorious pour. It's extra sweet and extra fruity. It's extra high proof and extra like, I don't know, interesting. It's super interesting. And even though these babies ring in at 130 proof plus, it's totally okay to put them on the pound for pound list because when you can get them, you can get them. And when you can share them, you share them. And the people you share them with are like, dang bro, thank you for sharing. Some of these are better than others, but I've yet to have a bad one. Friggin' Friday the 13th barrel. ADHD whiskey Jack Daniels pick. Coming soon to Patreon. And that brings us to possibly, probably our number one top pound for pound bourbon you could possibly bring to a bottle share right now that is semi-available and semi-gettable. They're not super extra easy to find, but you can find them. You just have to be on the lookout and you have to know where to look. Like the Sam Houston 15 and Calumet 16 I talked about earlier, these whiskeys are also sourced from Barton, but they're not limited to a lower proof. These babies come in at barrel strength and they're single barrels. If you get lucky, you'll get an extra high proof one. But even if you don't get an extra high proof one, you're still gonna be lucky because these babies are named lucky. They're lucky number seven, the proprietors. There's a 14 year and a 15 year. And they're both awesome. Some of them are really, really good. And some of them are friggin' spectacular. But if you bring a proprietor from Lucky 7, a 14 or 15 year to a bottle share, it will make people go, ooh, I need to try that. I definitely need to try that. And if you're going to a bottle share with friends who have like way better whiskey collections than you, then you can bring your proprietor 14 or 15 year and not feel bad at all because pound for pound, strike for strike, skill for skill, these babies 
or distilled to kill. These are number one on my pound for pound available-ish whiskeys to bring to bottle shares. If you enjoyed this video or enjoyed the list or enjoyed the topic, go ahead and hit the thumbs up, hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed already, hit the notification bell, Matt Madness Whiskey Tasting Invitational every Friday night, 9 p.m. Eastern. Who's the best whiskey taster on the internet? That's what we're aiming to find out. So if you like whiskey tasting and fun, make sure you hit the notification bell because your favorite YouTube channels, TikTokers, Instagrammers, and podcasters are all going head to head to head to head to, head to find out who the best whiskey taster on the internet is and that's only here on adhd whiskey friday nights 9 p.m leave a comment below let me know what did i miss what would you put on your pound for pound list for available ish bourbons to bring to a bottle share what holds their weight what will hold their own what could you bring to a bottle share and not feel embarrassed about my name is matt this is adhd whiskey and like i always say Keep your head in the clouds, but your mind on getting a new toy, like a camera, like getting a new camera and then like trying to figure it out and like understand its capabilities and, you know, dissect it a little bit and like try to figure out if autofocus works really good or not. And like if it tracks your face good and if you can get really close to the camera and it's still autofocusing and then you get farther away and if it still tracks your face and if it doesn't, you swear about it. But if it does, you swear that it's awesome and you just don't know because you're looking in the lens right now and not at the screen because you don't even know if you're in focus or not. But if you are, you're extremely happy. And if you're not, then you're like, why did I waste my money? And by money, I mean credit cards. Why did I put myself on credit card debt? Good, uh, good question. <sighs> Another good question is why do I tell you all this stuff? Why do I tell you everything about me? It's a good question. That's also a good question. Also changed my furnace filter a couple days ago. New furnace filter in. We're all breathing fresh air in this house. When's the last time you changed your furnace filter, Bill? Craig, Jacob, Ryan, Philip, Brenda, Carrie, Kyra, Kira, Sherry, Barry, Biv Belvdebov, Lukens. When's the last time Lukens changed his furnace filter? Probably never did. That son of a bitch. Love you all. Until next time, I'm out of here.